So, you have been waiting for this day, haven't you? Ever since E3, yes, I've been waiting for this. Yes. We are finally doing, you know, a series of amazing games from Humongous Entertainment. Yes. And the first one I'm doing is uh, Pud Pud, uh, Dreams of Parade. But let me actually uh, get these facts out of the way. Is that interesting about Pud Pud? Is that it was originally thought up by a woman named Shelly Day as a series of bedtime stories for her son Travis after reciting many Superman stories. And the first story you know she taught uh, she uh, read to, read to her son is. Is pup uh, involving Pud Pud having a cat in a tree, which her, uh, her son you know loved it so much she decided you know to make a game out of it along with their co-worker Ron Gilbert, which they used to work at Lucas Arts, and they utilized a special uh, engine called the, the Scum Engine, which which powered many various Lucas Arts games that you people might remember. So, anyways, um, talk about your history of discovering of humongous entertainment games, Sam. Well, before I do, I just wanted to ask, aren't Shelley Day and Ron Gilbert the founders of Humongous Entertainment? Yes, they are, actually. I knew it. I just remembered that now. Anyways, <clears throat> this is probably the oldest series of... Humongous Entertainment games are probably the oldest series of any kinds of PC games I have played in my life. I mean, I think these are my absolute first PC games, aside from games like Reader Rabbit and uh, Math Blaster. Uh, I discovered the series, or actually my mom did, more technically, because I was too young to even afford video games at that time, but when I was three or four years old and we lived in, we lived in our house just outside San Jose in Northern California, my mom came across this series at a software store, I believe, so she found uh, Freddy Fish and the Case of the Missing Kelpsies, I believe it was, this game... Along with, oh no, this game came with a, you know, a three pack. So it was Put Put Joins the Parade, Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise, and uh, what was the last one? Uh, Put Put Goes to the Moon. That's what it was. So I eventually got so addicted to this series after a while that I pretty much wanted every single game I could get my hands on. I mean, unfortunately, it didn't work out that way for me, and I don't, e I didn't even end up gathering half the. HE Adventure games, but I got a good portion of them, and even though your childhood should involve more than just technology, I mean, I, I did play outside and read books and all that stuff, but considering this stuff I did as a four-year-old, five-year-old kid, I'm glad my mom found this stuff and made me a happy kid, and it took my mind off of some things that went on in kindergarten and first grade. Interesting. It's well, a long story. I don't remember all of it. That's just from what I remember. All right. So, per my history of how discover is that it all started with um, actually remember back in the day when when series when they include like very cool prizes inside, like toys and all that stuff. Basically, for me is that I forget when it was, but it all start. Uh, I believe it was a Honey Nut Cheerios that included. A disc for Freddy Fish, and thanks to that, that's how I discovered you know this amazing series. And the cool part is that I remember some of these discs they actually included demos that promoted uh, the other games, part of the Humongous Entertainment lineup. That's how I discovered other series like Pajama Sam, Spy Fox, and of course Putt Putt. I've always Let's see, love these games, not to mention they're like my favorite point and click adventure games of my childhood. And I'm very glad that these games got re released on Steam. And plus, thanks to a Steam sale, I was able to purchase the entire. um. made the entire pack of these amazing point and click adventure games. Oh, Along, Pedro, you know, Pedro, <laughs> tell them about the uh, story of how much it cost you. Okay, so originally, you know, the pack is like a hundred bucks, but then, and then I waited, wait until the Steam Summer Sale came up, and that's when I saw the price tag discounted to a hundred bucks to fifty bucks. So I'm like, you know what? I'm also gonna bite the bullet and and just get on this deal. 
And the other funny thing I did is was, uh, is was like, you know, I did a prank, you know, uh, on Sam over here, thinking that I have only was able to buy one game. Until I surprised him that I got the entire pack for us to do a commentary. I cannot I tell you, I cannot tell you how mad I was that you tricked me and how gullible I was for it. Oh, that day was amazing. Amazing for you, not me. <laughs> I mean, it, it was amazing for me after we got to play our childhood favorites again, but I was still mad at you that I was gullible enough to believe that you only afforded one game. <laughs> um, well, people know that can be a trickster, though, but... Anyways, in order to get the show going on, I hope I hope you know all of you are excited to let's see if we, of this commentary. Not to mention, we'll be providing you know, more commentaries for other for other HE games. So let me tell you, the HE series that Pedro and I are going to cover, it's going to be long, and by long I mean he has every title. So expect at least I think it's forty videos, maybe. Well, I'm not gonna count on videos though, but I but... mean, it, no, no, no. That it would have to be everything done in one episode. So no, it ha it's gonna be many more videos than that. Yeah. So I hope you know you enjoy this commentary, and hopefully, you know, if you've experienced the series before. Well, for some of you who have played this game before, prepare to put on your nostalgia goggles on and enjoy the series. Because. <sighs> I try not to be a nut, I try to maintain my composure with stuff that I like and or, and or am excited about, but I'm gonna have to try extra hard for this just so I don't sound like I'm turning into a caveman. Anyways, yeah. I'm, I'm as ready as Pedro is, and I hope you all are too. Also available. What is Hi there, Fatty Bear. Oh, yeah, I see you there. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for that be... cheesy smile, Fatty. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a, a pretty cool advertisement that you would rarely encounter. And look who it is. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. Hi, Putt-Putt. Join me on my adventure. I'm ready to go. Oh, this brings back so much memories. 1992. Neither of us were even born then. Yeah, um... Interesting enough about the set, it was originally released on MS DOS, and would, and a year later, will be released on the 3DO. This was put on the 3DO. Yep. Never knew that. Oh yeah, I can see it has that 3DO esque look to it. I think I'll turn on my radio. Good morning, yep. Car Good morning, Car Town. Wake up, all you swamp buggies <laughs> yeah. and funny cars, because today is the Car Town Pet Parade. Drive on down to the Car Town Fountain with your pet. And Smokey the fire engine will sign you up so you can march in the parade. Don't be a crankcase. Get in gear and join the fun. That sounds great. I wish I had a pet. I wish I had a cat also. Maybe I'll go down. He said pet, not cat. I better get ready. Well, but anyways, the interesting thing about uh, the unique thing about this game is that you have so much things to interact with. This coin will come in handy. Yeah, I think that's partly what made this point-and-click series a lot of fun, is that you could just interact with the world in general. Yeah, l l Thank like you, you Frog. Right there, that I'm trying, you know, yeah. Mm, fine breakfast. Oh boy, Tyros! I'm hungry. Oh, good to Tyros, but... Yeah, you can definitely see that you can try to see me, you know, interact with so much things in, uh, in this game. Along with other games in the series. Time to brush your teeth. It's time to brush. I like how it even shows a slight sparkling effect. Uh, it's a swell day for a parade. Uh, that is true. I mean, it is a swell day for a parade, Put Put. Look at that. Is that a J over there? I can't. I don't think it's really a J. It's. A, I'd say it's a Robin because J's are blue and black. Yeah. Um... It doesn't really, you know, uh, specify what kind of bird it is, but, hey. It's a bird eating worms. Yeah, it looks like a robin to me, but that's aside from the point. Oh, look, an apple tree. Those look like red delicious apples. Yeah, very much like the one apple exploded and turned into a juice box. <laughs> yeah, it just shoots into the barrel. Yeah. 
Oh, pretty butterflies. And also, what do you think of the uh, of the sound of the soundtrack for this game? I like how none of it sounds glum or gloomy or anything. It just sounds so friendly, welcoming, and happy. By the way, we got our first obstacle. A cow. And oh, now it morning. now it moves itself. Yeah. No, nope. sorry, cow. We don't want to make you ground beef. We want you to be well, safe. Oh, pot, pot. Yeah. Here to sign up for the parade? Yes, sir, Smokey. Great, but there's a few things you'll need to do before you can join. I know this parade. might sound far fetched, but I can't help but think that the First Cars all, movie series car got car some inspiration car from car the Putt Putt series. Same here, actually. That's like the first thing I thought when I first when I first saw Cars on, on commercials. I mean, I only liked the first Cars movie. I thought the second one was awful, but that's just me. Well, you could also deliver groceries yeah. for Mr. And that's aside from the point, Those anyways. Great ideas. Yeah. And when you come to the parade, you'll need to bring up. I mean, this is one of Humongous Entertainment's easier adventure games, yeah, but it's a nice introduction into the whole series of games they make for Putt Putt, Pajama Sam, Spy Fox, the list goes on. Yeah. Yeah, uh, another staple in the series is your, your inventory in, in order to use, use it for, for certain situations. Yeah. So you have the toy shop, paint shop, the grocery store, the gas station, car wash, and Smokey's Firehouse. I'd go earn some coins mowing lawns on Green Street. You could also head over to the market and ask Mr. Baldini if you can deliver groceries. Thanks for the advice, Smokey. So, you're going to Green Street, I guess? Yep. We're gonna, we're gonna mill some lawns. So, for this, you have. Excuse me. Yeah, actually, I skipped that part, but. Remember, kids! Look, look both ways before you cross! Well, I'm honk the horn to get them out of the way. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone said we have a day. When I was on the road, road trip with my brother-in-law, and we saw like a bunch of ducks walking along the road. I've seen birds all over the road like almost everybody has, but I don't remember the last time I saw that. I was... Hello there, little chap. How can I help Is that Mr. Fenderbender? I would like to mow your lawn. If you'd like to mow I believe it's Mr. Fenderbender. Go to it. I forgot yeah, who. Just... Yeah, actually, the we just... actually, we found a boom right there, that's why I stopped by. I actually feel so because um, for this part, it's actually very painfully slow. Yeah, this is the only part of the game I didn't like just because of how long it took to mow someone's lawn. Yeah. I'm really glad you speeded this up. Yeah. <laughs> it actually looks entertaining to speed it up. Then again, everything does. Yeah. Well done, Mr. Fender. Excellent. Here's a coin for you. Thanks, Mr. Fender. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll love the way it says here's a coin for you. Oh, that was Mr. Fender. Fender, yeah. Tammy Torpedo here. What can I do for you, Pat? -Pat? Tammy Torpedo. Cars don't have torpedoes. I would like to mow your lawn. Mow my lawn? You bet. <laughs> Time for some more mowing. Pup Pup is driving faster than a supersonic jet. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's just going in circles. Yeah, that's the very restraining thing is that like, are you expecting you would use the arrow keys, but not really. You have to use, you know, you have to click you know, on any area in order to make it move to that direction. Yeah, this is another thing I didn't like was the fact that you had to use the mouse cursor to move putt putt instead of the arrow keys or maybe WASD. But from what I know, most kids' games I played, especially Lego Island on the PC, which is another classic for me. They made you use the arrow keys because most kids wouldn't grasp the fact that WASD is easier on your left hand than using your right hand for the arrow keys. Yeah. Well, then again, that's why we have improved sequels. Yeah. Well, now according to Brule Moose, he said, uh, and I mean, I played Lego Island 2, and I kind of have a different opinion from him, but I can understand why he didn't exactly like Lego Island 2. Oh no! no wait, I don't mean like I mean you know for wait wait for wait for, um, wait, wait for the Pop Pop series. Oh, good point, good point. Yeah, I thought you were just talking about sequels in general. Yeah. So now you just have one. Oh, like a robot. Five forty-nine o'clock. 
Yeah. What's funny is that it was actually you know, it actually you know, Ray Ray read the time while, while I was I was recording this. Hey, but but moonwalked or moon drove. <laughs> hey, moon drove. Well, better save the game for your sake, put put. Why put put? I'd feel honored to have you cut my lawn. Okay, old geezer, we'll mow your lawn for you. Look at those oh, bird the magic deaths. Of hitting. Yeah, I actually do like the detail though. Look more like trophies with water. Um. I'm all finished. You did a fine job, Put Put. Here's a coin. Thanks, Mr. Buggy. Buggy. I love, I love <laughs> how it, 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 there's an Easter egg just beside the robot. Hey, maybe there's an Easter egg in this game. Hey, we just found it. Yes. Not that, not that Easter egg, though. I meant the other kind of gaming Easter egg. Yeah. Well, the one where you found the battle's fatty bear. Now I can cross. I like the really cheesy talking animation that was on Putt Putt's face there. Yeah. Oh. What's Mrs. Airbag? Oh yeah, I remember. Oh, Mrs. Airbag. Oh, Putt Putt, Baby Beep is lost inside the movies. Please find him. What Wally the flying car. Like this. I'll find your baby, Mrs. Airbag. Well, unfortunately, Wally couldn't make it to the movie Cars, so he had to get his own movie instead, and they had to change his name. So, <laughs> where is Baby Beep? Further down, I yeah. believe? Hey, yeah, same color as Putt Putt. How coincidental. Same color as Putt Putt. Yeah. Baby Beep, I found you. Thanks, Putt Putt. I like how Baby Beep is. Is it a he or a she? Baby Beep, thanks for helping, Putt Putt. I'd like you to have this balloon. Thanks. I. That, that, that's something I'd have to uh, check, but. Actually, you know what? Wait, you guys, wait, viewers out there, actually tell us, you know, wait, if it's a, if it's a he or a she, though. If, if not, then it, then it's okay. Whichever gender, I just liked how Baby Beep was rolling his slash her eyes while Putt Putt was talking to him or her. Oh, yeah, I actually like, like the flowers just grow, like, growing and growing out. Hi, duck. Hi. Was, that, was that a Canadian goose? Um, no, it was, it was a duck, actually. Huh. Not Donald Duck. Oh, please don't go in there. This next part is so sad. I'm not even gonna lie, this part actually does choke me up a little bit. Well, we have to, Sam, in order to progress the story. Sounds like there's a puppy in there. Oh. He looks scared. Ah, oh, poor puppy. Have a bone. Would you like to be my pet in the parade? That feels so much better now. <laughs> Pep. And yes, that's Pep, not Peppy, Stallings, don't get any ideas, or not Pepper. So no, it's not General Pepper as a baby. Well, it's another thing is though, you know, wait, from this part on, Pep, you know, is also part, um, part of the series, you know, from, from the sequels from now on. It's it's fine too. I mean, Pep was a nice. I'm very, I'm very busy, you know, like of, of, of how Pep, you know. Oh, actually, that was what the point was that Pep, you know, he looks like kind of derpy right now. Yeah. Looks like it's time to wash the old windows. You only have one window, yep. and it's on your, it's wow, above your hood. I can see again. How can you see? Your eyes are in front of the windshield. I've always found that part pretty weird. I like how the gas gauge on the left even goes up as Putt Putt fills his tank up. Yeah. So, I like how the gas is free. Well, that's basically, basically for, for, for every car citizen in Car Town. Look, bird seed. And here's the stack it up. Oh, it looks like you need a car to wash it before the parade, huh? You want to earn us some money delivering groceries? Sure. That's like the no face. Sure. 
Now yeah. <laughs> the no face looks like it's trying to hold its breath, yet it's hyperventilating. Yeah. I also like how on the grocery store awning, the word store has an exclamation point next to it. So where are you delivering these groceries, Blue Street? Yeah, and actually the this part is that... Yeah, I'm Blue Street. Oh, oh this I part's like fun. This part. I love this part. Marching band. Right now we're a sitting band. Yeah, how can we march without any music? You I have instruments! Music. Use them to your advantage! I can't go that way. <laughs> I might hurt the mice. Well, I was see, turn up the radio. Yeah, but I don't see why they would need a radio. I mean, they have instruments. Why can you keep on driving? Well, I think it, there's us, you know, like, they need some motivation in order to march, but... Hey. So they need motivation? Yeah, you know, motivation to march, you know. <laughs> oh, look, a log cabin. That's where the groceries go. An There's ambulance? A, a ambulance car that passed by. I need to deliver groceries. What can I do for you, Put Put? <laughs> so I have some groceries for you. My groceries have arrived. Here you go. A coin for a job well done. Thanks. I like how they don't say what her name is, though. <laughs> Not that mad. Uh, what's the point just, of? I, li I just like how that's a bit inconsistent. Where he'll mention everyone's name when he says thanks, except for her so far. Yeah, I would also like the point out is that, like, for that part, it's very optional, you don't have to do it, but you will, like, have enough coins when you do, like, all the mowing yeah, bit of the, um, when you're done with mowing everyone's lawns. Yeah. So now you're gonna visit the toy store, or...? Yeah, we're, we're gonna go to the toy store. Uh, hey, it's Car Town cool. Toys. Look at those animals. I like how there's a mouse hole there. <laughs> Is she I, I, I British? Because she said top of the morning. I don't know. It, it, I want that, was, that was actually more, way more of an Irish accent. Yeah. My turn. No, me first. Well, somebody's got to be first. Who's it gonna be? What time is it when an elephant uh, rabbit. on a chair? Time to get a new chair. I think elephant jokes are ridiculous. Uh, when an elephant sits on a chair, it's time to get a new chair. Actually, do we, we do we appreciate you know the, um, the detail on this part? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like Rear um, Rabbit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, th th this is an option video game. It's not like you even earn points for that, so I don't see what the point of that game is. Oh, look, a Rubik's Cube with pictures. And a million times easier. You can just like turn to any uh, to any uh, picture you want, which I find very pretty cool. So that is, uh, like, is that Jack and the Beanstalk? Is that what it's supposed to be? Yep. To Grandma's <laughs> house. <laughs> so this is where I left my magnet. What you shoplifting? Shoplifting, Papa. That's not a good thing, bud. You're such a shoplifter. Shame on you, Putt Putt. Uh. <laughs> you should be Anyways, time, to, time to get a car wash. It's the Car Town Car Wash. Let me guess, you're gonna get a paint job after this? Shower. Well, let me actually get this out of the way of that. Apparently, after I was done doing the sequence, it wouldn't let me do um, the car painting sequence for some weird reason. Oh yeah, because it, it just uh, sends you to Smokey after you've completed all the uh, required stuff. Yeah. Look at all that soap on Putt Putt. Well, I guess you have Putt Putt's average color then. Yeah. Because, like, you know, a, a, a little a funny little tip is that if you um, paint him red, you have a funny little interaction, you know, when, 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 you, when you get him to see Smokey. I think it's any color that's purple you get, that isn't purple, you get a funny reaction. Actually, mostly red though. It's actually more funny with that. Diggity. Now I have everything I need for the pre. I cut you off there, Pot Pot. Well, Pot Pot, it looks like you did everything you needed to. The wait, wait, no, you didn't have to do the car wash because sometimes I managed to finish the game and he said it looks like you didn't need that car wash after all. Well, come on, everybody, let's go. 
Um, oh well, it, it, that's, it, it looks, that's you know, just a minor complaint. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks as optional. So I actually, you know, they like uh, mostly the, at least some of the optional stuff in order to like you know, um, show you know what's going on. Oh yeah, you can actually interact in, in this part. It's it, it, it's it's pretty funny. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Is that a hound on, in the trunk? Um, yes, that's that's out in the trunk, and then the red the blue car has a fox. What does the fox say? Hey. Ring ding 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 ding. Hey, look, there's Fatty Bear. Well, was Fatty Bear holding a thumbs up or what? Yeah, it was. Th it was a thumbs up. Oh, look, and cat. There's a cat. I know you like there's kitties. Look at that parrot. And finally, Pip. Oh, I love what Pep does here. What a talented dog. It's really happy to see he doesn't have to live in that bat cave anymore. Well, um, it's a good day, even the sun is smiling. Well, guess what? We're done with the game. Yeah, short game, but it's a nice way to introduce you to the series. Yeah, I mean, it interests you know, like, what's the, oh, well, you know, oh, oh, what this game did in order to make the series tables for other HD games, but yeah. So, your thoughts on this uh, particular uh, Putt Putt game? I just point out it's a bit short, although, like I said, it's a nice introduction, so I can't complain about it. It's a yeah. nice game overall. I'm not disappointed. Yeah, for me, you know that it's a very short game, but um, at least, you know, it's a good introduction where, where instead of, you know, going into some other HE games that will take longer than this. Yeah. But I do recommend it though, I mean... If you see the, you know, this game like on a Steam sale, then go ahead and get it. But yeah. That's finally, you know, one game away off of the Humongous Entertainment Catalog. And several more to go. Yep. So... That was the the entire video of Pump uh, Putt Putt joins the, the parade, and we'll see you next time. Have a have a, have a good night, people. Yeah, good night. See you later on.